And then there's a special screw to secure the ground for the incoming AC. It's got a flat washer and a lock washer on it. So don't lose any of that stuff. Move that out of the way. Oh, by the way, you want to take the hard drive out. Set that guy aside. Now, to free the part that contains the main board from the lower half of this football, there's one screw here by the AC. There are three screws over here on the right side and there are two there are three screws on the front that you have to remove. There's also this one screw right here by the hard drive. You do not need to remove that this time. These will all be longer um, plastic type screws. It will not be the finer metal. Oh wait, wait a second. This longer one goes by the AC adapt it goes by the ACN. So keep a note of the lengths of the screws. Because the ones on the right hand side and probably in the front are the shorter type. In fact, oops. Damn, I don't have a. In fact, if you're keeping your screws in bowls like I am. It would probably be better to get a separate bowl for these screws so that you don't mix and match them. At this point, notice notice that that screw by the hard drive is still in here. At this point, that's the bottom. Toss the bottom away. And well, there's the main board. There's a ginormous fan here on the bottom. I've got the CCHG01 PS3 with the Foxconn main board. So yours is probably might look different. This one was manufactured in November of 2007. But this is what it looks like. If you need to remove the fan, it's just these three screws right here. And there's a connector that goes into the main board. Keep track of these three screws. They're, they look to be pretty unique to the fan. And there's
there's the fan. If you look down the hole where the fan used to be, you can see heat sinks. You can see heat pipes there that try to keep this thing nice and cool. And in my experience, it's pretty successful at it. And now, we want to get this, uh, we want to get this metal shield off of here. The screw by the hard drive is one of these fine machined ones that look like the power supply. Just take that out. And then you can take off these the screws for the clamps that hold these big heat sinks down. There are special screws, and you're not going to be mistaking those for anything else. These little clamps go one way, so don't worry about how they go. You can take the back, you can take this back plate off, right? See how it's got two clips here? You just carefully pull it straight away and the back will come off. Put that aside before you lift up on this metal piece because it will lift up like that. Also, be careful. See these white things? These are thermal pads. You may or may not see all four of them here. If you see any of them missing, that means that they got uh, that they came off with the metal plate, so just be careful about that.